Hello and welcome to this episode of Inside Out. It's been a while since we spoke, but today we have somebody very special who has made the journey from Australia all the way to Sri Lanka, none other than the CEO of Cricket Australia, Mr. Nick Cockley. Nick Cockley, thank you very much for joining me. How has it been so far and your time in Sri Lanka? It's been brilliant. It's such a, pl- a privilege to be here. We've had an incredible welcome uh, from everyone. I know the, uh, the team and all of the support staff have really enjoyed the tour so far. We've seen some fantastic cricket. Congratulations to Sri Lanka on winning the ODI series. And uh, no, we're just um, e- extremely appreciative to everyone um, in Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka cricket, for putting on a great series. And also, I'm sure you'd have spoken to the Australian players, the one day side, the T20 side, even the A team was mm. here. What's the feedback like? What that, that the warmth they've received in Sri Lanka? I think they're just really overwhelmed by the warmth of the welcome, uh, about the, 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 the hospitality. We're very conscious that um, people are having a, a challenging time here in, in Sri Lanka. So um, we really just hope that um, coming and playing the series has, has uh, been positive. And um, overall, they're just overwhelmed by the incredible hospitality, the warmth of welcome, and you know, particularly the crowds. And um, I have to say a big thank you to everybody who donned uh, the yellow, the gold for Australia, the fifth ODI. That made huge headlines back in Australia. Uh, people were really appreciative. Um, never seen anything like that before. So I think that just goes as a, a, a long um, and warm friendship uh, between two absolutely passionate cricket loving countries that was going to be my next question the fifth odi just started on social media someone just put it up saying that you know let's wear yellow and it picked up so much and i was there commentating and i saw probably 90 percent of the crowd wearing yellow so that's that's a huge boost for sri lanka australia not only in cricket relationship but overall you look at it as a positive side going forward not only in cricket but the other ties as well certainly and i've spoken um to the Australian High Commissioner here. Uh, I think it's 75 years uh, of dim- diplomatic yeah. relationships. And I think it's the power of sport to bring people together. Um, and certainly um, the warmth, the affection, the respect. Uh, I know um, our s- staff, our players, a number of them have said they've never experienced anything like that. It was so special. Um, so I think that's had an incredible, uh, incredibly positive impact. Um, and as you say, we've got, um, we've got really strong ties between the two countries. There's a you know, wonderful um, ex- um, expat population um, of, Tr- of Sri Lanka community in, in Australia. And you know, they're a huge support uh, to the cricket community. And um, uh, hopefully this means that the relationship just goes from strength to strength. Now one thing in common we have is that we love touring to Australia. Lots of mm. players, if you ask or talk to the past players, they love touring to Australia, especially because the rivalry we carry through, but still having that friendship, grabbing a, grabbing a ring after a game, the relation, it just keeps on better and better. And also when you talk about the, organizing the tour, mm. the A team as well as the national team, that's a huge mark. I think last time it was done was way long ago by a different country. How challenging it was to get the players or maybe how easy it was to get them all together, as I'm, I'm sure the players would have had their concerns coming over, especially the crisis that Sri Lanka is going mm. through. Well, I think Sri Lanka cricket deserves enormous credit. It was a really big, uh, complicated tour, nor in normal times, but then with the backdrop of COVID and some of the challenges, uh, the work to put this tour on has been going for many, many months. Uh, I think the, uh, the spirit of cooperation between the teams from Sri Lankan cricket and Cricket Australia uh, has been exceptional. I just like to say a big thank you to to all all involved. And um, but in terms of the the warmth of the reception, but also all of the, the logistics on on the ground. Uh, in speaking to the players, we couldn't ask for anything anything more. Uh, it's been um, been absolutely fantastic. I think to be here in Gaul, just such an iconic cricket ground uh, as as well. It's a it's a fantastic backdrop for this for this Test series. I mean, Sri Lanka's love hosting Australians. They never Australians is in town. That's a massive thing for Sri Lanka. And on Shane Warne, late Shane mm. Warne, I should say. I mean, I have somebody that I have played against and I have a lot of respect. Mm. And he's someone that uh, helps Sri Lanka in massive ways. Mm. Not only playing, coming and coming and playing over here. But when the tsunami happened, mm. he has come over here, but volunteered himself, volunteered his time, mm. and made sure lots of uh, offers and lots of charity coming through the country as well. So, what about on what on that, uh, Nick? Well, I mean, I think um, the way that kind of Shane helps uh, 
is testament to the friendship between, between the countries. I think um, certainly on behalf of Australian cricket we were extremely uh, appreciative of the tribute um, before the start of the day's play. Uh, you know, I know uh, Shane loves Sri Lanka and uh, world cricket loves Shane Warne and I think his legacy will live on and uh, I think he'll continue to inspire lots of little kids to, to pick, up, pick up the game and um, I think it's really important that we remember his legacy. So for to tribute, um, just a, a huge thank you and I'll be taking the plaque home and passing that on to the Warren family. Absolutely, I think they must be looking forward to your arrival so that they can have the plaque as well. Mm. And also on the challenges of, you know, not only in Sri Lanka cricket, I think overall with the COVID coming in, mm. I think even Cricket Australia would have had their own challenges. Mm. How, how and what did you do to overcome all those? Well, I think it um, shows that, that, firstly, we wanted to keep cricket going. Uh, I think it's fostered an even greater spirit of cooperation between all of the different cricketing countries. Um, we've um, been to uh, England, we've been to Bangladesh, we've been to West Indies, we've been to Pakistan, and now coming to Sri Lanka, you know, with the backdrop of COVID. And it's been more work than normal. It's been harder than normal. Uh, we've had to have more communication um, than, than normal. But I think that's just continued to strengthen relationships. So uh, the thing that I've been uh, most impressed by is uh, people's resilience, but people's problem solving uh, capability. So no matter how hard, how challenging, we found a way to make it work. And ultimately, when you see scenes like that fifth ODI, you see you know, the wonderful crowd. Those are the moments where you kind of, the hairs on the back of your neck go up and you just realize you know, all the hard work is, is worth it. So um, you know, I think we've, through um, adversity comes strength. I think, um, I know personally, I've learned so much in the last couple of years. Um, we just hope that you know, things now come back to normal. And um, certainly in Australia, we're very busy preparing for the men's T20 World Cup in October, November. Um, and we really hope as many people as possible will be able to come. And uh, my question is going to be that in October, November, the World Cup, how big is that? Not only for Cricket Australia, I think the entire nation. I was told India-Pakistan game, the tickets were sold within minutes. That's more than about 75,000, 8,000 uh, tickets in just a just matter of an hour or two. And also Sri Lanka is, have to play the, uh, the qualifying rounds, but still that's been played in Jeevam. So what on the yes. Sri Lankans over there, you know, all usually you used to play at least uh, 50,000, 60,000 at the MCG, especially yes, as well yes. as SCG. So the welcome over there. Oh, I think it's going to be massive. I mean, uh, it's the stadiums, as you know, in Australia, uh, you know, huge, huge stadiums. And um, what we've seen, whether it was the 2015 Cricket World Cup or whether it was the, the Women's T20 World Cup, what we see in Australia is that every game is a home game. Just like there's, there's so many passionate fans from all the different, uh, the different uh, countries. And Sri Lanka, as you say, they're playing in the first round. So I'm quite excited. That's three extra Sri Lanka games um, for, the, for the Sri Lankan fans and starting in Geelong. And there's, you know, there's a huge Sri Lankan community in Victoria. So I expect that... Uh, for the team, uh, for the Sri Lankan team, I, th I expect that they'll feel like they're playing in front of um, in front of a home crowd. I think that's the same for all of the competing teams. So um, we know it's going to be competitive. We know anything can happen in T20 cricket. I think for Australia, we're now defending champions uh, after the tournament in the UAE. So there'll be that extra extra bit of pressure. Um, but the main thing, we just want it to be a great celebration. World cricket coming together. Uh, everyone now kind of moving past the challenges of the net last two years um, and ultimately we want it to be a, a fantastic celebration. Yeah, for cricket uh, coming together in one of the best countries in the world to play cricket, telling you the experience. On final note, Nick, preparation just on overall moment. Overall, just a enormous thank you. Thank you for all the work, for the hospitality uh, and uh, the friendship and um, you know we look forward to this uh, test series. I think it's going to be the first day, is there anything to go by? It's going to be very fast moving, there's going to be twists and turns, it's going to be very competitive. And um, uh, the main thing I just want to say is just uh, uh, an enormous thank you for, uh, for hosting us. Thank you very much for talking to me, Nick, and also good luck for your future endeavors as well as organizing the World Cup. And I hope Australia will go through, and you know, as well as Sri Lanka will go through the first round and hopefully have Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka Australia fight, maybe. Yeah, no, we'll look forward to seeing you there. Thank you very That'd much. That'd be great. Thank, thank you. you. That's me, Farriz Maru, along with Nick Cockley, signing out for Inside Out.